From the writings of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska comes the message of Jesus, the Divine Mercy, a message that has touched countless hearts across the globe, a message that Pope Benedict XVI has called a central message for our times. Since the year 2001, thousands from coast to coast have been touched by the message of mercy through the dramatic production, Tell All Souls About My Mercy. A work of art come to life, described one participant. Attending a live production of Tell All Souls About My Mercy is a special experience indeed. One is quickly taken to the core of the message of mercy as it comes to life before you. I am Father Seraphim Michael Enko of the Congregation of Mary's of the Immaculate Conception of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary. I was a former rector of the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockage, Massachusetts. I was founder and former director of the John Paul II Institute of Divine Mercy. I was a former vice postulator for North America in the canonization process of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska. Here we have this beautiful message by Dave and Joan Maroni. The people may not realize it, but this presentation brings them into the very mystical center of St. Faustina's mission. And so by this presentation, people are led to the mystical heights of the message, though they don't realize that this is the case. And that is why they are so deeply touched. And they can see through the experience of what is presented to them, things that are happening within themselves. So I really am so happy to have seen and have taken part in these presentations. And I've heard the report of many priests who said that this is absolutely excellent. This is what people need to see, need to experience. And now this same powerful spiritual experience is available with the film version of Tell All Souls About My Mercy. Stunning visuals, historical photographs, meditative music, classic religious art, and dramatic film clips bring you into the conversation with Jesus as he offers his forgiveness and mercy. What I have come to discover is that those who come to such presentations of the Mother of Mercy Messengers are usually people who are looking for a deeper experience of God. It's a profound experience of of renewal. The Church needs good, solid program which will provide nourishment for the people, and this I believe it is.